Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the container roller bearing in a KitchenAid trash compactor. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blade screwdriver and a 9 16 inch socket wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new container roller bearing. The container roller bearing, along with the front rollers, allows the container to roll back and forth. The main reason why the container roller bearing should be replaced is if it's broken and no longer allows the container to be pulled out easily. Push the pedal down. Pull out the container, lift it up, and disengage the rear rollers. Place it on the front side down. Using the flat blade screwdriver from one side and the 9 16 inch socket wrench from the other side, unscrew the old container roller bearing, turning it counterclockwise. Remove the old roller bearing. This is the old container roller bearing next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Install the new roller bearing into the mounting hole. Screw on the nut manually, turning it clockwise. Then, using the 9 16 inch socket wrench, tighten it. Install the rear container rollers into the rail. and push the container in to close. And now when we're done, we can plug the trash compactor in or turn the power on at the circuit breaker. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.